If you watch my channel, you know I was a big fan of the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2. It was a 7.9 inch Retina display Windows tablet that came out last year and I really, really liked it and I've been on the lookout for one very similar ever since, but there have been slim pickings as far as choices. Until now, I recently took delivery of the FNF i5 Mini 4S. Now, it's a lot to say and it's a strange name, but what it does have is a retina display, it's fully laminated, and it has a great price. Hi, my name's Andrew and this is the review of the FNF i5 Mini 4S. Let's find out if it's worth your money. If you're on the lookout for a budget tablet that has an iPad mini retina display and won't break the bank, there's a company called FNF and they've released a product called the i5 Mini 4S. Gearbest was kind enough to send it over for review and here's my take on it. The i5 Mini 4S costs $129. You can get it from GearBest.com. I'll put the link below for more information. Now, I've seen it as low as $99 on certain flash sales, so keep your eyes peeled for any potential sale in the future. What you get under the hood is the Rockchip RK3288, and it has the Mali T764 GPU. It's got 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, which is expandable via the micro SD card slot up to 128 gigabyte cards. The star of this show has to be its 7.85 inch display with a resolution of 2048 by 1536. That's 326 pixels per inch, and it gets somewhat bright at 298 nits. Now, it is fully laminated, which is something you don't normally see in a budget-level tablet. This is a very sharp, very good display. Really good job, FNF. Now, as far as ports are concerned, here's what you get. On the top of the device, you get your microphone, and located next to that is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And we'll talk more about that in the sound. You also get your micro USB 2.0 port, that's where you'll charge your device. And next to that is a micro SD card slot, which takes up to 128 gigabyte micro SD cards. And finally, rounding out the top of the device is your power button. On the right side of the device, you find your volume rocker up and down. The speakers are located on the bottom of the device. We'll talk about the sound in just a moment. Now it's mostly metal design, is top notch in terms of build quality and it weighs only 11.99 ounces or 340 grams. There is no flex and it feels really good in the hand. Overall great job on the build. At 7.85 inches you're really going to use this to browse the web, consume media, feels really good in the hand. The touch screen is very responsive, overall I would have to say the performance did get the job done. Now Gearbest sent this via DHL, it only took a couple of days to get here to the United States, very good in terms of shipping. The box was in pretty good condition, not the greatest, but it did have a little bit of wear and tear on it, but that's to be expected coming from overseas. Opening the box, you're greeted by the tablet itself, along with some documentation, which happens to be also in English, which is very good. And you get your power supply along with the micro USB cable. Now, there's an 8 megapixel camera on the back. It's not very good, but again, most tablets in any category range is not very good, so I wouldn't be taking any photos or videos anytime soon with this. There's a 2 megapixel camera on the front, it's not very good, and you can do Skype, you can do some video conferencing with it when you need it in a pinch, but at the very minimum it is serviceable, but not very good. Now I was pleasantly surprised on how fluid the OS is, considering you only have 2GB of RAM, 
and you're running a rock chip processor. Now, you can do web browsing, you can consume media, Netflix, YouTube, everything worked great. The screen is crisp, everything looked good. As far as playing games, you can play games. It'll work at mostly full frames in terms of frames per second, but again, this is not gonna be your higher end gaming tablet. The i5 Mini 4S sports a 4800 milliamp year battery and you're going to get about 5 hours at most with this device. It's not going to be one that you use for longevity. I think it has a lot to do with the quality of the screen, the fact that it is a higher resolution display and that will eat up a lot of the battery. But overall, again, you're at this price point, you really can't hit them too hard on the battery because you're getting this at a great price. The i5 Mini 4S sports two speakers are located on the bottom of the device. Let's hear them in action. Hi, my name is Andrew, and this is the review of the Moto G5 Plus from Motorola. Let's find out if it's worth your money. As you can hear, the speakers are not very good, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack worked, but there was a little bit of interference, which was a little bit of an annoyance, but not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. So at the end of the day, can I recommend the i5 Mini 4S? Is it worth your hard earned money? And the answer is yes, I think it is, especially for this price. First, here's what I like about this device. I like its beautiful, fully laminated 7.9 inch display. It's an iPad mini retina display, so you can't fault it at that, it's really good. It's got a solid metal build. It's running stock Android 6.0, although I wish it was Nougat, but again, at this price point, you can't expect that much. And it has a micro SD card slot for storage expansion, not something you'd find normally on a budget tablet. And it has wireless AC, so it had great range in terms of wireless. And of course, it's great price. And on flash sale, you could even get this at some point at $99. Right now it's at $129, but keep your eyes out for flash sales because they're happening all the time. But of course, as with any device, there are gonna be things that need improvement. Now here are the things I don't like. I wish it had an HDMI out port to connect to a TV or monitor, and I wasn't crazy about its subpar cameras, but of course with any tablets, I don't really use the cameras, so it's not an issue for me. And its mediocre battery life is nothing to write home about, but then again, at this price point, you really can't complain all that much. But with those few negatives aside, I have to say this checks all the boxes you'd want in a very budget tablet. It's got a high resolution display that's fully laminated. It's a solid build and it's all metal, mostly metal design. And I like the fact that it had decent performance and it really felt good in the hands. Overall, I'd say it did the job. And that's why I'm gonna give it an 80%, making this a very good choice for the premium features at a budget price. That equals to me a winner. And that's why I'm gonna say this is worth your money. So what do you think about the i5 Mini 4S? Do you think it's a worthwhile investment? It has the iPad Mini Retina display. It's got a fully laminated display, which is not always what you'd see in a budget tablet, especially coming out of China. And the build quality is rock solid, which is really surprising given its price point. But I'm curious to know what you think. Leave a comment in that comment section below. For the price, I think this is a steal. You're getting a fully laminated uh, iPad Retina display and it really is gorgeous. And the fact of the matter is it only has two gigabytes of RAM, but Android 6.0 Marshmallow does pretty well on it. I mean, of course there are gonna be shortcomings at this price point, but the fact that you're getting that great build quality, great display and passable performance at a great price makes this a winner. But again, I wanna know what you think. Leave a comment in that comment section below. I am curious to know. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter and our website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.